The cop television show Hawaii Five-0 was a huge hit with audiences when it premiered in 1968. It went on to last for 12 seasons on CBS and greatly increased the popularity of its iconic Hawaiian setting. The show followed a fictional police force that governed the state, led by a retired naval officer named Steve McGarrett. The show featured many unique characters over the course of its run. Sadly, most of the actors who played these characters have since passed away. Join Facts First as we explore how each Hawaii Five-0 cast member died. Hawaii Five-0 ran on CBS from 1968 to 1980, 12 seasons. The program followed the exploits of a fictional police force watching over the state, led by retired naval officer Steve McGarrett. Steve had been appointed to the position by the character of Governor Paul Jameson. Actors Jack Lord and Richard Denning played those two characters. Let's take a look at how these and other former Hawaii Five-0 cast members passed away. Jack Lord as Steve McGarrett Jack Lord played Hawaii Five-0's main character, retired U.S. Naval officer Steve McGarrett. Steve was the leader of the show's police force, and Jack starred as the character throughout all the show's 12 seasons. But Jack decided to take a step back from acting the same year the show came to an end. This decision came after a failed attempt at a follow-up called M Station Hawaii. The show didn't make it past the pilot phase. Jack had directed the pilot in addition to starring in it, and it had been shot prior to the shooting of Hawaii Five-0's final season. Many also speculate that burgeoning medical problems could have played a big part in why he chose to call it quits after Hawaii Five-0. He's known to have suffered from Alzheimer's disease for several years prior to his death in 1998, and many speculate he may have been suffering from the disease as early as the filming of the pilot for M Station Hawaii. Though Jack suffered from Alzheimer's for years, it ended up being congestive heart failure that killed him. The actor was living in Honolulu and died at his home on January 21, 1998. He was 77 years old. He left behind $40 million to his wife, with the instructions that whatever she didn't spend in her remaining years should go to Hawaiian charities. His wife passed away seven years later and granted the wish. Her name was Marie and she was several years older than Jack. At the time of her death in 2005, she was 100. Danny Kamakona as Nick Kellogg Danny Kamakona made his acting debut with an appearance in one of Hawaii Five-0's earliest episodes and went on to appear in over 30 episodes over the course of its run. In addition to his recurring spot on Hawaii Five-0 as Nick Kellogg, Danny could be seen on shows like Sanford and & Son and 21 Jump Street. After nearly two decades in TV, Danny made his cinematic debut in 1986's Karate Kid Part 2. He followed this up with appearances in other films, including Honeymoon in Vegas and Problem Child. Although it looked like Danny was slowly making his way up the ranks in Hollywood as a character actor, his trajectory was sadly cut short in 1996. A decade after making his first film appearance, Danny was found dead in the bathroom of his L.A. apartment. Although the cause of death was never revealed, it's been said he'd been dead for several days before being found. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a like. And subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Peggy Ryan as Jenny Sherman Peggy Ryan played Secretary Jenny Sherman for a little over half of Hawaii Five-0's 12-season run, though her appearance on the show certainly didn't mark the start of her career. She had been performing since she was three, joining her parents in their notable vaudeville act. At age four, she appeared in the short film The Wedding of Jack and Jill. Subsequently, she went on to attend the Hollywood Professional School. Her skills led her to attract the attention of an actor named George Murphy, who helped her secure her breakout role in the 1937 feature, Top of the Town. Peggy had been acting for several decades before being offered the part of Secretary Jenny Sherman. However, she made her acting credits scarce after leaving the show. She headed to Las Vegas and took up shop training aspiring showgirls who were looking to learn the art of tap dancing. Sadly, Peggy passed away at age 80 after suffering from two separate strokes. She made her last public appearance earlier that year performing a comedic song and dance routine to many of her longtime friends and colleagues. Richard Denning as Paul Jameson Richard Denning played the character of Governor Paul Jameson, the figure who put Jack Lord in charge of the police force. He suffered from a heart attack and passed away October 11, 1998. He was 84. 
he was buried in Hawaii. Zulu as Kono Kalakaua A popular Hawaiian stand-up comedian who went by the name Zulu played the streetwise character of Kono Kalakaua. Kono was a burly officer who was one of the main characters during the first four seasons. Sadly, conflicts on set caused Zulu to call it quits. In addition to feeling that the program promoted negative Hawaiian stereotypes, Zulu also felt undermined by the series' star. Jack Lord and Zulu apparently never got along, with Zulu claiming Jack never let him do anything. Despite the bad blood from the original, Zulu returned to reprise the role of Kono for the pilot of 1997's Hawaii 5 reboot. He died soon afterwards, passing away from diabetes complications at age 66. His ashes were scattered over Hawaii. Cam Fong as Chin Ho Kelly Cam Fong was another Hawaiian actor that was given the opportunity to shine on Hawaii 5 playing police officer Chin Ho Kelly. Cam passed away October 18, 2002, after being diagnosed with lung cancer. He was 84. James MacArthur played Steve McGarrett's trustworthy sidekick and second-in-command, Dano. James played the character for 11 of Hawaii Five O's 12 seasons, before calling it quits, feeling that the show and his character had run their respective courses. Thankfully, his decade-long stay on the show had made James an incredibly wealthy man, and he continued to build that wealth, investing in Hawaiian real estate. In addition to his growing distaste for the quality of the show, James also had some issues with Jack Lord that were not dissimilar from the ones that Zulu had. He felt his role on the program was being limited by Jack's overbearing input to the producers, and credited his lack of freedom and challenge as an actor as one of his reasons for quitting. On October 28, 2010, James passed away of natural causes. He was 72. Mo Keel as Truck Kealoa Finally, let's take a look at actor and musician Mo Keel, a Hawaiian native who was given a notable recurring role on the program's 12th and final season. Mo had already been acting in film and TV for several years, though his true passion was music. Mo was a ukulele virtuoso and performed successfully as a musician in tandem with his film and TV career. Notably, he was the uncle and mentor of global sensation Israel, or Iz, who is considered by many to be the greatest Hawaiian musician ever. Mo's life eventually ended April 15, 2002, when he died of a heart attack. He was 62. The following year, the Hawaii Academy of Recording Arts named an award after him. Now it's time to hear from you. Who is your favorite Hawaii 5 character? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.